great because we're moving. <laughs> build a box and shove things in it. Build a box and shove things in it. We think the apartment is very angry at us. I love it here so much. All of a sudden, I heard a big pow. Are you gonna say Happy New Year? Oh, <laughs> I can't sleep. Hello, guys. Happy New Year. We hope you had an amazing holiday season. Uh, ours was a little bit chaotic. Not okay, really. Thank you for the kisses, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Our holiday was very chaotic. We were part of the Southwest Airlines shut down debacle our flight straight up got canceled then they were like completely shut down as a company i don't know whatever that was we could not get a flight back to texas we were supposed to be in texas for four days four and a half days or so no didn't get in until saturday it was a series of horrible horrible things that happened we parked our car at the airport and loaded the car car with the luggage forgot that my keys were in my luggage locked the keys in the car. We waited two hours for AAA to come and unlock our car to get home. My mom, oh my God, I didn't want to tell her. So I was like, oh, I have to make a stop. She knew, she knew something was up. I had to tell her eventually. I'm like, oh my gosh, two hours. I was so stressed. Finally got there and my family was already there. We so late, had Christmas and it was all, it was all fine. But it was just like, what is happening? It's like, nope, your 2022 was a little bit too good. We're gonna slap you all sorts of sideways now. Uh, finally made it. And now we are back in LA. We flew in yesterday and the flight was really pretty rough. Uh, I read my Kindle, which was nice. Uh, and we were back. And now by the time you are seeing this, it's, it's January 4th right now. So I've had about a week and a half like off with no camera or anything, uh, but I have filmed and recorded for the podcast. So if you haven't heard, I am launching a podcast. It's called With My Own Two Hands. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you know exactly when the video of uh, the video and um, the podcast launches uh, very, very soon. But I have not picked up the vlog camera to vlog since Christmas day. So hi, how are you guys? I'm great because we're moving. <laughs> we're moving. And it's been a secret that I've kept for a little bit because we needed time as a family with it and to get through the craziness of finding a home. And you, if you guys have followed throughout the year, you know that we have been actively looking because our lease here is up. So when we signed the lease last year, we were like, okay, this is the last one. If we're gonna move out of this apartment, we're going to really turn the next chapter. We're gonna go into the next chapter of our lives and hopefully find um, a, not a maybe a, maybe a forever home i feel like we could we totally found a forever home because i love it that much and we both love it that much it has everything that we wanted the cottage in texas is very much an investment property and it's always felt like a project home so we hope and that was always the goal was to turn it into uh, little guest cottages in the back which we've kind of put on hold um especially now that we were tapped out like we got to put that on hold until we can save some money for it but turn it into an investment property and have that and then maybe retire there or one day way further down the line you know we were looking for our home in our next chapter is to start our family so we started the search nine months ago or longer maybe than that and we looked at I'm not kidding, over 60 homes. Between open house weekends, we would go and hit a whole bunch of homes at the same time. From every time I was in California, I would make take a trip with my realtor and we would look at homes. And we ended up finding one a little further out than we um, had anticipated, but it's just, it worked in budget. It worked in what we wanted. It, it had equal amounts of a character for me, you know, I love the old, but it also wasn't a complete renovation project where we were gonna take it down to the studs like we did the cottage because Romeo was not going to survive that. He's like, we're not doing that again. I'm like, yeah. 
<laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna do that again in the home that we live in. Now, I hope I see myself one day like flipping homes. That would be incredible, but not living in the process. But I still wanted something with character that hadn't been stripped of everything. And we found her and her name is Rosie. Moment that I personally realized that we were gonna spend our lives here and this was gonna be it. Uh, we were walking through the rose garden. Little as she is, she's still a gar she's still a rose garden and it was epic. The day we got the keys, my mom flew in. I didn't know how she was gonna feel. I know she very much wants to be close by me in hopes that I spend, I still will spend a lot of time in Texas, um, but you know, I've spent all year, like 360 days in Texas last year. Uh, so I didn't know how she was gonna feel like it was a little bit sad, but she has her own room, you know, the guest room. And so like her room and she loved it. As we were going through the house and she was looking at it, she was FaceTiming my dad. I'd had this like breakdown. I feel, I just cried all of my dreams, me personally, growing up, just dreaming of one day owning a home that was a home at, in California. That was always, always, always my dream. And it all came true. And I think it hit me in that moment. And I just cried and I'm so happy. We're so happy to start this next chapter. Uh, we wanna start a family. We knew that we couldn't do that in this apartment. I'm not getting any younger. I'm gonna be 35 this year. I'm 34 still, let's not age me too much, but I'm gonna be 35 this year. It's time, uh, but nothing is happening, nothing yet, but it's it's time and it's just uh, taking the steps to, to do that. And we knew that we didn't wanna stay here in this apartment, obviously, um, with starting a family. Uh, so we had, we had to make the move and our lease was up, we have to be out. So we're moving, we're moving, how exciting. Uh, we have to go get boxes. It's been raining here, like nonstop, pouring down rain. We just got here yesterday, but we know it's been raining for a few days. Normally we would dumpster dive for uh, boxes, uh, but we can't do that. They're all gonna be all wet. So we're gonna have to go buy some, um, and we have some that we can use. So we'll we'll use those as well. And I hope today to accomplish the the entryway, the living room here, it's not very much. The kitchen is essentially already done. I've been slowly going through rooms, just kind of purging and uh, donating whatever we can. So I've gone through the kitchen and also my, my all of my clothing. So that's gonna be a huge step in the right direction. We hired a moving company. They are coming on Saturday. So we have, today's Wednesday, Thursday and Friday to pack, get ready. They're gonna be here early Saturday morning and we are they're gonna take everything, take the drive up to our new house. I'm very excited. Okay, let's go eat and get some boxes. I think I've said that so many times since I've been in Texas for so long. I used to live at this hardware store, not the one there. Now we can't find any of the boxes. Who knows <laughs> Why is he running? <laughs> Where are you running? We for sure moved them. I don't remember this being here. Okay, we definitely need packing tape. Get some paper. I feel like this will come in handy. The movers are gonna wrap the furniture, so we don't need to, you know, like they're gonna do like plastic. Crazy right now. <laughs> okay, the bathroom. I feel like there's not much in here. It's just like things that I need to go through. I have not purged out this underneath. Um, I've got a lot of stuff happening up here. Look at this cute cup. I got a Target to drink more water. I feel like as we get to the end of um, packing, it's going to be build a box and shove things in it, build a box and shove things in it. I feel like I'm over analyzing the packing at, at this point. It's like, hmm, should this go in this box? And like carefully organizing like thing, and like, it's going to be insane. <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom floor. We actually have a lot more bathroom storage in the new house, which I'm really happy about in both bathrooms, not only in the vanity section, but also in the like over upper cabinets above the toilets. 
there's there's more even more cabinetry. This stuff's all good. My hands. You gonna help mama? Are you gonna help me? Toothpaste. Oil serum. I think I got this at an event. To go toothpaste. Q-tips. everything like every room is just destroyed we've got stuff everywhere okay so one thing i have determined that i do not want to put on the moving truck two things actually my art because i'm a freak about art and i don't want it to be messed up so i'm take we're gonna take that over there ourselves and the tv i'd be sad if this got messed up i'm gonna do a whole a uh, video or probably two-part video of like decorating the house with things we already have i still have so much to do with the cottage that I don't even want to think about that right now, but we can get it livable and and pretty and so that we can we can be there. We've got extra large, large and medium boxes and books and things and decor is gonna get heavier, so I'm just gonna put them in like smaller boxes. Okay. Look, babe, I already got two pieces of art down. Aren't you proud? Yep. We just took on a lot this week. So Romeo is actually vending at the Rose Bowl this weekend. And uh, we're moving at the same time. We're moving the same week. So literally the movers are coming on Saturday. He's vending on Sunday. I've already been kind of like thinking about things that we have and like where they could go in the house. You guys are so excited. Eventually we will renovate the kitchen and the uh, two bathrooms. And I feel like the rest of the spaces are like perfect, but those are not like structurally changing at all. Um, but they just need some some updates. It's just exciting to like have a place that's ours here and not an apartment. Maybe I'll go around and get all my books and they can all go in this. Okay, this may be all I can put in there because it's gonna get really heavy. Oh, these are the ones that he got me for Christmas last year. Maison Parisian Chic at Home. Such a pretty book. And Vintage Living. Creating a beautiful home with treasured objects from the past. Yes. Okay. Books are done. Got some packing paper because I feel like that's packing paper and bubble wrap actually. So like my decor and stuff, I just need to get the image. already started packing like the kitchen stuff in but I think one of them I need to like redo or something. I mean I said it might be too heavy. I will be bringing these over myself. My mom painted these for me. We have to find some place to do like a cool gallery wall of some of some kind or we could break them up and, and do them um, in different places. already gone through my clothes this is everything that I'm keeping going forward like my basics and stuff um, and donated the rest so I don't have much I feel like it's all gonna fit in one box I'm gonna be in sweatpants anyways like sweatshirts and leggings all the whole time 
Jackets me. Be bulkier. Over here thinking that my clothes were gonna fit in one box between my clothes and my shoes and extra hangers three boxes three of the extra large boxes <laughs> the jackets got you know took up more space that i wasn't anticipating okay so i've been collecting my candles i have more than this but they're all in one space so i've been collecting them from around the house and i'm gonna put them all in one it's not supposed to be hot so they're not gonna melt Good morning. Uh, we think the apartment is very angry at us. Oh, we <laughs> we packed all night. This morning, woke up, we're drinking coffee. Romeo was catching up on Kaleidoscope. It's actually really good, I like it, uh, on Netflix. So he was catching up on it. I was reading my Kindle. You know, just like a nice, slow vacation morning. And then we were gonna start packing. All of a sudden, I heard a big pow outside. And Romeo came out of the laundry room and he goes, did the power just go out? So we have sunlight for now until like, what, what when is the sunset? Like 4.30? 4 4.35-ish. Oh my gosh. We've made progress though. We've got this many boxes all packed. All of these. I've got various boxes throughout the house kind of packed too and then Romeo is organizing all of his stuff that's staying here into his closet we took on a lot more than we could chew yeah like him vending and having a big show and then us moving and now no power I don't even I think it's mad at us she's angry the apartment's angry well next chapter you know the apartment should have seen this coming we're gonna start loading Romeo's car uh so that we can take a load over to the house so this is the first time you're gonna see the house on the vlog. I think we've gone through the, the hard parts, right? Mm -hmm. Like the kitchen's all packed, all the cabinets are empty, which is really, really good. Everything is, everything's empty, everything. There's just those few things over there that I need to go through. Oh, it's kind of echoing. It's weird, it feels empty. Bathroom's done. This is all done, all of this is empty. I've got all my clothes done, so this is where I kind of had like, oh. <laughs> she's mad. Okay, well. Okay. Oh. I had all my like sleeping clothes in here. So the only two rooms that aren't done is this room, my tools and my DIY supplies and things that are in here, but Romeo was kind of organizing his uh, clothes and they were kind of in here. So I have this room to do and I have our bedroom to do, um, which there's just not much. We're going to take the art ourselves and as much as we can fit just things that I don't want to get messed up. We've never had AC or heat here at our apartment. There actually is a heater, um, but heat isn't always something that we need in California. AC is more often something that we, we kind of need. Um, so we have this in window kind of unit. We have central air in our new home. So I was like, ah, I'm getting rid of this. I'm gonna donate it. But then I started thinking, I'm like, I think it's gonna go in the garage. You never know when this might come in handy. You never know. Okay, showered, changed. We just loaded the car with all my art. You know how particular I am about that. So we got a full truckload to bring over to the house, but I can't seem to find anything. I need my keys. Otherwise, we can't get in the house. Oh, I heard something. In Kinsley's carrier. 
Okay, let's take a trip. When we get back, we are not gonna be able to see if the power is not back on. Okay, we're off. We have arrived, but it is dark because it's not close by. <laughs> oh, at least we have power here. It's so much colder here than it is by the apartment, but we have little lights. It's so cute, it's so cute. Okay, we have to unload. It's been raining so much. We're gonna load the art. I've just been putting everything in the garage for now because um, I still need to film the tour uh, tomorrow. And they're coming to install our uh, internet, they're just coming to transfer it. Can't wait to style all these in the house. Let's go inside. Lights. Lights. Our home. It's so empty. Wow. I love it. I love it here so much. She's like the perfect size. 2,000 something square feet. Did the pool guy come? Oh my gosh, the pool looks so full. We haven't quite figured out the gate situation because we think the clicker or something is messing up when it rains. And this is going to be the primary bedroom. I like that it's on the bottom floor. I like that it's an ensuite. It's right off the living room. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like little like curtain things here. The two upstairs bedrooms will be Romeo's office, workspace, um, my DIY room. studio, huh? Game room. Game room. He can do anything he wants in that room. <laughs> I have the rest of the house. <laughs> my DIY supplies and everything will be in there too. My tools will be outside in the, in the garage storage. And the other one will be um, the guest bedroom, my mom's room. And maybe a potential nursery one day. <laughs> This is our bathroom. That's what we loved so much about this house is it's very livable. And there's some characteristics that are hidden that I can bring out. And then there's some updates that we can make, you know, along the way. I like that this tile is original, but I'm not in love with the tile. I'm not, it ain't bad. I don't know, I have a, I have a love hate, relationship. I don't like this situation though. I don't like the mirror. I don't like how close the light fixture is to it. I feel like it could be better. I'm not a big silver person, so definitely we'll be swapping out all of the hardware for brass. I mean, there's even a little pretty brass. <laughs> so cute. She's, she's, a little, she's a little bit art deco, um, like this. I just don't prefer that, so we'll bundle it all up and we'll take it to like Habitat for Humanity where they have more building supplies. This is our laundry right here. I don't love the idea of the primary bedroom having the laundry in it because Romeo likes to do laundry all the time. We're heading upstairs and Romeo and I's closet have always been separate. So I'm gonna have the downstairs closet in the bedroom. He can have the pick of any and all closets upstairs. Do you love your room? Yeah. Well, your room slash my room, because my DIY supplies still have to go in here. Is that where you're gonna put it? I mean, uh, for right now. Does it work? No, it, it does. It just won't close all the way. So this bedroom is over the garage. It's not quite two story. I mean, it is, but the house house is actually on a hill. It kind of makes this appear to be like a half story. They're all really good size. Like this is bigger than our primary bedroom in our apartment. All the bedrooms are. This one, this pretty little thing is our guest bedroom, nursery, mom's room, or in right order, mom's room, nursery, guest room. <laughs> but upstairs has all been um, pretty renovated. So it has newer windows where the downstairs has the original 1930s windows, which I love, which I will be restoring. <laughs> all this wardrobe is like so cool. Look at all this. Like, I feel like for now, we all could have this or there's also another whole closet here. If I feel like it's gonna be hard for him to get his stuff. So we'd like to keep it to this room. We just need to redo this closet for you, babe. Yeah. Don't you feel like your clothes should be in here? Yeah. Or, I, know, I have to figure out my Yeah, stuff. he's gonna figure all that. We also have this closet. Look at this. Oh yeah, I can put my shoes right here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I think this will be my closet. Yeah, I think that'll work really well. Perfect. Especially for like your stuff. You have more stuff that you kind of cycle in and out, but your core things. I'll probably be here. fit like mine. My jackets and like my shirts right here. But we got space. They're just kind of like kind of tucked in the house. Like there's also this. This is like up the, right up the stairs. 
Like this, I feel it could be a good linen closet. We already have a mattress. My mom and I had a slumber party. This is the same mattress we have in Texas. Oh, I ordered yeah. I ordered it so that we would have something for this room. Um, I, I love this room. This room is so pretty. You ready to go? Keep packing? Yeah. Okay, we made it back. We've been back for a few hours now and I've been working on the DIY room, guest room. <laughs> Things are looking crazy in here. Just labeling everything, like where it's going to go and packing. The goal with the movers is for them to move all of the furniture and the majority of the stuff. I'm not anticipating leaving anything really behind after Saturday, uh, but there is gonna be a few things, like just weird things that we can't pack. Like I've got some big canvases in here. I'm like, I don't know. We'll just, we'll pack them in our car or something. Probably just me not knowing how to move with movers. I'm like, I don't know how easy I should make it for them. Whatever. Anyways, we're we're doing a pretty good job. So we think 98% or 99% even is gonna go on Saturday with the movers. And then all we're gonna have left when we come and unmake over this apartment is gonna be all of the curtains and the curtain rods and like some old computers that I want to like donate back to Apple. I have to figure that out. So. I think that's all I have in me for today. I think it's about midnight now. We have an early morning because I have to meet the AT&T guys down there so that he could set up our internet. Um, and then I'm filming tomorrow the tour, which you will have already seen. And then I will see you guys again on Saturday. I'm going to pick up the vlog on Saturday when the movers come to move us. And then that's our first official night in the house. Even though I've slept there once with my mom, this is Romeo's first official night in the house, which is really exciting. So, and then we'll have a big day the next day because he has the Rose Bowl booth happening. There's a whole lot of stuff happening. So I will see you guys very soon in a few days for another vlog. Bye guys. Kinsley, come on. We're done for today. I can't do it anymore. <laughs>